Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your guy Perry and we are back with another video. This time we're gonna go ahead and do something a little different y'all. I wanna go ahead and take a look at a video that I really haven't seen posted really anywhere else. And what is that number one question? It's if the iMac 24 inch can do music production. Now, save y'all some time. Yeah, of course it can. All right, but I wanna go ahead and go through the experience of doing some music productions on the M1 iMac 24 inch um, and just kind of validating the reason why I actually got it. Um, you know, I mentioned back in my previous video that I'm gonna be primarily using this device to do music production. And I was like, man, let me go ahead and, you know, knock out some, some ideas with y'all, do some actual music production and take y'all through the process and kind of go through what that looks like. <laughs> and really the reason why I went ahead and created this video is just because Every video that you'll see for the iMac 24 is basically catered towards video editing and you know maybe some photo editing and stuff of that nature. But um, I really wanted to make a video that showcased music production. And that's another area that I feel like this device doesn't get enough traction and discussion around. So I wanted to go ahead and create this video and answer that number one question is if the iMac 24 inch can music produce. And not music produced, but can you produce music using this machine? <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back. Yo, like I said, we're about to go ahead and just go ahead. We're going to just dive right into a music production session using the iMac 24 inch. So I wanted to go ahead and do somewhat of a beat video with y'all and just take you through the process and really answer that question is if you should get this iMac, the new 2021 version uh, for music production. So let's get right into it. All right, y'all, let's jump right into it. All right, so I already laid down a lead. Let y'all hear that real quick. Something like that. Turn this down a little bit. Alright, we're gonna lay down some other melodies on top of that. Some kind of melodies, but we're gonna hit some drums real quick. So let's cook up this right quick. Real simple, real simple, y'all.
something like that, y'all.
finish up cooking up a beat you know kind of lay down the foundation for the track so I just wanted to kind of paint the picture and show y'all that it's possible that if you're contemplating the idea of getting an iMac related to music production or mixing and mastering it's definitely possible y'all anything's possible honestly anything's possible but this machine is definitely more than capable of doing music production recording music everything that you need to do. Um, I'll at least say in the realm of Logic Pro X, obviously optimized for the M1 chip. Um, I feel like as time goes, a lot of your other uh, DAWs that you may be using, you know, whatever you're using, FL Studios, um, Reason, anything that you use, I feel like it'll be a powerful enough device. Uh, just go ahead and get 16 gigs. Don't get eight gigs, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna keep this device for a long time, definitely go with 16 gigs. But yeah, wanted to show y'all how that looked on the M1 iMac 24 inch. You know, um, definitely possible. Um, you know, maybe I'll leave this beat in the description if y'all interested in hearing it. I'll go ahead and I'll flesh it out a little more and stuff. But like I said, just a quick little thing for y'all. Thank y'all so much for checking out this video. More videos to come. If you like that one, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. More on the way. Appreciate y'all. Period. Out.